hi all welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis and uh, we are on module 5 and today we are going to discuss the penalty factor and loss formula using b coefficients so uh, the penalty factor can be derived from the coordination equations as well so uh, we know the coordination if equation is dfn by dpn plus lambda into dou pl by dou pn is equal to lambda so that uh, we have learned in the previous videos okay normally we are treating that equation as coordinated coordination equation and uh, from that from the coordination equation uh, dfn by dpn is equal to uh, lambda into 1 minus dou pl by dou pm and by rearranging that dfn by dpn is equal to sorry dfn by dpn into this term this term can be uh, brought to the left side so it becomes 1 by 1 minus dou pl by dou pn is equal to lambda and here that uh, 1 by 1 minus dou pl by dou pn is replaced by a term ln so equation becomes dfn by dpn into ln is equal to lambda where this ln is our penalty factor okay so ln is ln is equal to uh, 1 by 1 minus dou pl by dou pn and the approximate penalty factor we are calculating it as uh, 1 plus dou pl by dou pn it is denoted as ln dash so normally in questions uh, we will find the penalty factor using the equation 1 by 1 minus dou pl by dou pn okay so this is the penalty factor so of course this formula okay so uh, dfn by dpn into ln is equal to lambda okay this will give our uh, uh, received cost okay received power cost and the next one is the uh, loss formula using b coefficients okay uh, so uh, as we know the dou pl by dou pn is equal to 2 sigma m bmn into pm that is the loss formula that is we have already learned in the previous video where bmn is the corresponding loss coefficient and uh, uh, pm corresponding to the source loading so actually that equation okay this equation can be written uh, as that is uh, dou actually the dou pl by dou p1 okay dou p1 can be written as nothing dou pl by dou p1 can be written as 2 b11 p1 b1 is the corresponding co loss coefficient and p1 is the uh, source loading of the uh, first load okay source loading p1 and uh, 2 b12 p2 okay correspondingly we can write dou pl by dou p2 is equal to 2 b12 p1 plus 2 b22 p2 okay so actually the loss formula uh, denotes the actual equation is like this dou pl by dou p1 and dou pl by dou p2 can be uh, written as like this okay so the dou pl by dou p is equal to sigma m bmn pm okay and also uh, we know dfn by dpn is equal to fn and pn plus fn okay this equation we have already uh, learned in the previous lectures as well okay uh, where fn in the, uh, fnn is the corresponding uh, uh, crossing point that is actually we can say that uh, uh, fnn okay FN, fnn and small letter fn fn is the slope of the incremental production curve and small fn is the inter intercept of the incremental production curve we have already uh, learned in the previous videos as well so dfn by dpn equal to fnn into pn plus small fn therefore the coordination equation can be uh, uh, rewritten as okay the coordination equation is Dou dfn by dpn plus lambda into dou pl by uh, dou pn okay is equal to lambda okay in the previous slide we have seen the equation 
that dfn by dpn plus lambda into dou pl by dou pn is equal to lambda is the corresponding uh, 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 coordination equation so in that we are uh, substituting our values okay in that our substituting where these values that is dou pl by dou pn and dfn by dpn okay so we will get fn and pn plus fn and plus lambda into sigma 2 bm and pm is equal to lambda okay so by substituting the coordination equation these values we obtain this equation as well so uh, collecting coefficients of pn we obtain uh, from the first term pn can be taken outside pn into fnn okay fnn and in the second case also okay here the variables are b and n okay so if you are uh, substituting m is equal to n here okay that is for collecting all coefficients of pn okay uh, that become uh, 2 b n n p n 2 b n n p n uh, so we get the coefficient of pn as uh, lambda into okay 2 lambda into 2 lambda into b n n from here okay then uh, all other terms okay that is excluding m is equal to n all other terms are uh, going to the right side so it becomes minus lambda sigma m not is equal to n because m is equal to n we have already taken here okay so m not is equal to n 2 bm and pm minus fn plus lambda okay and by rearranging this equation and by rearranging uh, this equation we get pn as pn is equal to 1 minus fn by lambda sigma m, m not equal to n 2 bm and pm by fnn by lambda plus 2 bnn okay so this equation this equation we have uh, we have written in the uh, iteration method okay iteration method of economic load dispatch including the uh, losses okay that is we have uh, discussed that in the previous lectures okay so this is the loss formula using uh, b coefficients uh, the importance of b coefficients comes here and we are doing a problem okay a, a problem based on that penalty factor here so determine the incremental cost of received power okay we have to find the incremental cost of received power and the penalty factor of the plan shown in figure below if the incremental cost of production is the dfn by dp1 is equal to 0.1 p1 plus 3 rupees per megawatt hour okay so this is the plant so 10 megawatt is transmitting here, here we are using 8 megawatt 2 megawatt is the lows okay so here we have to find the cost of uh, incremental cost okay incremental uh, cost of the received power so the incremental cost of the received power can be find using the equation this one that is dfn by dpn into ln is equal to lambda okay where ln is the corresponding penalty factor so by uh, after finding the penalty factor and uh, if we are substituting that that values in this equation we can find the incremental cost of uh, received power okay so uh, first we have to find the penalty factor so penalty factor okay so the equation for penalty factor is l is equal to 1 minus 1 minus do pl okay do pl by do pn okay 1 by 1 minus do pl by do pn so here uh, we know that the lows okay the lows is 2 and the total uh, the production okay the total uh, production is s 10 okay as shown in the figure it is 10 so we will get 1 by 8 by 10 so 10 by 8 will be our penalty factor okay so penalty factor will is 10 by 8 and the cost of received power cost of received power we know that is df1 by dp1 into l1 that is is equal to lambda this is the cost of received power so df1 by dp1 okay it is already given in the uh, question as well df1 by dp1 df1 by dp1 is given here okay 0.1 p1 plus 3 and uh, penalty factor okay penalty factor we have already found it is 10 by 8 so p1 here is 
p1 is 10 okay p1 is 10 so by substituting that values df1 by df1 is 0.1 into 10 plus 3 into l1 l1 is the penalty factor here okay so uh, we will get the cost of received power as rupees 5 per megawatt hour okay so uh, i hope all of you understand the equation well so here we have used the penalty factor equation okay penalty factor equation and the incremental cost of production df1 by dp1 is equal to 0.1 p1 plus 3 okay so using that equation we have found the penalty factor is 10 by 8 and the cost of received power is rupees 5 per megawatt hour i hope all of you understand that well so thank you